Okay, this is the first test of the uh, three axis head mountable gimbal. So you can see it's obviously this is a prototype in terms of how it's mounted to the helmet, but you'll notice that it's very compact. It's really not a whole lot higher than a GoPro, but twice as high as a GoPro. And uh, you could easily enclose this in a, like a piece of a plastic Tupperware box or something so that you've got no more wires exposed. So what does it do? Well, one of the things that you'll find when you're flying is that you move your head about a lot and you get all sorts of squinty footage. Of course, you don't just move your head this way, do you? Sometimes you're looking at things and you get your, your video all squint as well and you're looking down and you're looking up and you're looking down and looking up and hopefully you can see that this is keeping everything totally stable. So the way the yaw works is that obviously you're going to be moving around, you're going to be turning to fly in different directions. And you might want to look over to your right hand side and want the video to follow. So it uses a mode called follow me. So as I turn my head, if I stay that way, you'll see the gimbal starts to follow. As I move back, it comes back. So it's just smoothing everything out and little movements like that. If you make them quickly, if you're looking to the right, if you're looking to the left, you'll see that it's all made an awful lot smoother by the gimbal. And obviously your main thing is you're going from side to side and you're going up down, and it's completely stabilizing your footage. Now at the moment, this is just um, your prototype. Um, you will be able to control the angle, the motor's going, the, the video down and up, so that you can uh, you can see more of the ground, more of the sky if you want, um, and also the yaw a little bit because you see, well at the moment the yaw is slightly moving that way, uh, moved that way. Usually it's a one-time thing when you switch it on, you just need to adjust the like, yaw so that it's straight straight ahead, and after that point it should be fine. But if it does get out, you can just tweak it. Um, obviously real time video you can just, it's a GoPro so you can just check it on your um, your Android phone or your iPhone and uh, we'll tidy this up a bit but um, I think it has the potential for really uh, smoothing out and giving a really a very different kind of um, flying video course a bit like um, you get on the quadcopter uh, and the, really the difference between this and the quadcopter one is one it's upside down um, two it's three axis so the three axis still quite new in, in the uh, brushless gimbal world and three uh, it needs to be solid and, and tough so you can see it's all um, machined aluminium parts and two uh, sorry four <laughs> it has to be um, compact so you can see really, you know, there is no smaller three axis brushless gimbal in this. Um, and as you see, when it's turning around, it's not getting any further out than the base. So you could easily make a little Tupperware box or something to go over this if you're worried about your lines. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we'll see what we get results wise.